اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسلی عمری وحل العدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ارین الحق حق و ارزقن اتباع و ارین الباطل باطل و ارزقن اجتنابا اللہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد و علی آلہ و اصحابہ و اہل بیتہ اجمعین برحمتی کا یا ارحم الراحمین There is a very very important message for the people of the world This message is not limited to the Muslims or the people who believe in Abrahamic religions and this message is not being delivered specifically to any government, any organization, any society, any community or any, any uh, walk of life. Uh, this message is for the every human being living on the face of earth. This message is for every government. This message is for every businessman, for every politician, for every scholar, for every thought leader, for, for everyone. And I request the humans of the world to pay attention to this message. Because your survival is going to depend upon what I'm going to say after this. And before I deliver the message to you all, I would like to introduce myself for the ones who do not know who I am and what I am what my beliefs and thoughts are. My name is Aves Nasir, and I'm an experienced and qualified software engineer. Born and brought up and educated in Pakistan. And my religious beliefs are that I'm a Sunni Muslim. The rest you can search uh, on Google and other platforms uh, if you want to know more about me. For everyone who is listening to this message and who would listen to this message later on, O oh people of the world, know that your creator is one. Your provider is one. And his name is Allah. He's pure from all, all of the idols and all of the false gods that people associate with him. Allah, the merciful, the most powerful, and the one, he's there since forever and he will be there forever. So this is the message from the glorious Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has not begetted any son and he was not born from any other being. He is the only worthy of worship and Muhammad, peace be upon him, was his final messenger. And Adam was his first messenger on earth. Moses was his messenger. David was his messenger. King Solomon was his messenger. Noah was his messenger. Abraham was his messenger. Ishmael was his messenger. Israel and Jacob were his messengers. His second last messenger was Jesus, the son of Mary, peace be upon him. And, the, and his final messenger was Muhammad, 
sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him and the only religion acceptable for the lord the glorious allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is islam and the only messenger who brought that islam that religion for the people of the world is muhammad peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the promised one is the promised messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the people of israel has been waiting for but when muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came the people of israel rejected muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is the promised one that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had written in torah he had written in zabur and he had written in the bible that there will be a final messenger who would establish one world government for the pious ones and this message allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has repeated in quran wa laqad katabna fi zabur min ba'd dhikri anna al arda yarithuha min ibadi as salihun that allah had written in zabur that the earth would be, would be handed over the government of the world would be handed over the, to the pious people the people of israel had been waiting and had been thinking that they are the selected ones and allah accept this promise that was made to the people of israel that o oh people of israel يا بني إسرائيل أذكروا نعمتي التي أنعمت عليكم وأني فضلتكم على العالمين. That all people of Israel recall the promise that we had made with you, and we had raised you above all. We had promoted you above all. it was a promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people of israel but the people of israel when they finally tried to murder tried to kill jesus son of mary alayhi salam then finally allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demoted the people of israel and allah says in quran wa ba'u bi ghazab min allah that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala striked the hardships allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demoted the people of israel and they became the ones who were finally selected for the wrath of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ba'u bi ghazab min allah allah's ghazab on them allah's ghazab allah's wrath fell upon them and after that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selected from the children of ishmael muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now the followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam became the selected ones allah says kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lin nas ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna 'anil munkar that now the followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are the ones who are better than everyone else the ones who are the pious ones so the promise that was made to people of israel in zabur and in torah and in bible was finally shifted to the followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah says in quran وعد الله الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات لا يستخلفنهم في الارض كما استخلف الذين من قبلهم now o people of muhammad o followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you are the ones allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would hand over the one world government and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make you the handlers of the government of the world and you would be allah's promised appointees on earth the people of israel and after them the christians think that there would be new world order but allah says that 
That would be the Dajjalic one world order that Allah would not let Allah would not let the people of Israel corrupt the whole world. Rather, the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would be the ones who would take over the one world government, and they would be the appointees of Allah subhanahu wa taala on earth. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam promised us through his credible and authentic sayings that. There would be a person who would be called Imam Al Mahdi, the guided one, the guided leader of the Muslims. He would be from the lineage of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, from the children of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he would fill the earth with justice, and he would fill the earth with peace, like it was filled with injustice and corruption. And his name would be like the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and his father's name would be like the name of the father of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the dear people of the world, we have been announcing for several years since 2014 that that leader that was promised. For the Muslims, that was promised by Muhammad, that was promised by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, is now here. He is from Pakistan, and his name is Muhammad, and his father's name is Abdul Karim. His full name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has made it clear to several people of Pakistan, including myself. That Muhammad Qasim will be the guided one. He is Allah's appointee on earth, and whoever would follow him would be given respect, would be given shelter, and whoever would deny would find himself under Allah's wrath. Since 2014 until 2013. It has been more than nine years. We have been spreading Allah's message slowly, and in a very, very, very displayable and respectable fashion. But finally, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has made it clear that in January, Allah's punishment for the people of the earth has been written. And if you guys think I'm lying, watch a short clip that on 28th September, on 28th September, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala del delivered a message to the people of world that Allah's punishment is coming, and on the very next day. There were several bomb blasts and ter terrorist attacks throughout Pakistan. हर मुनाफ़कत करने वाले का और हर रस्ते में खड़े होने वाले के लिए अल्लाह के अज़ाब का वक्त आ गया. On 6 September, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala made it clear to the people of the world through us that you need to understand Allah's wrath is coming. जनवरी Allah's punishment has been written for the people of earth. So all you have to do to avoid that punishment is to believe that Muhammad Qasim is Allah's appointee on earth and he will be Imam Al Mahdi. And if you don't do that, Allah's punishment has been written and and promised in January 2024.
you have seen two examples from the recent past, from two months ago and less, that Allah's message came true and Allah's punishment fell to a shorter extent. But in January, Allah's punishment is coming on a greater scale. If the people of the world take heed before that, they might find refuge in Allah's mercy. But if they don't, Allah's wrath would fall upon the people. That's all I had to say. And I hope the people would take heed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide everyone. Either they are so-called Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindus, or any other religion from all around the world. That's all I had to say. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on the people of earth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his blessings on the final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and from his lineage, the guided one, Imam al-Mahdi, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the companions of Imam al-Mahdi and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save the companions of Imam al-Mahdi from his wrath. Thank you very much.